Cotton Shed Theatre Company was a theatre company that we established on the basis of our commitment to arts and our commitment to inclusion of people of all sorts of abilities. And at Cotton Shed we try very, very hard to have no invisible barriers because we really are open to anyone who wants to take part. It is a place um, that so many people can come to and feel they belong and feel a part of. Uh, it's a place where they have fun, make friends, that they're welcome, um, that they actually feel like they belong to Cotton Shed. So yeah, it is, it's one big happy family here. Cotton Shed works on a number of levels, on a purely pragmatic level. It works by providing exciting, drama, musical and dance at workshops. Let's say our line as loud as we can to the person nearest to us. What's your name? Thank you! The fundamental to its working is the uh, key role that our artistic leaders play. And we have a team of artistic leaders who prepare these workshops where the inclusivity is driven through those workshops. We put all of our effort into creating versatile frameworks so that everybody can access what we do at whatever level they need to. Um, so it's, a, it's a, a way of working, it's an ethos. Um, and I think if you stay here long enough, it becomes a way of life. In dreams, um, we obviously have to ensure that all members feel comfortable with whatever we're working on, so at the moment it's green. And at Cotton Shed we're about, it's not about somebody being the star as somebody having a main part, it's about people working together as a team and really help each other grow. We want to push everybody um, to perform to the best of their ability at Cotton Shed. The green project that we've been working on is um, obviously being mainly directed by Josh and he's doing an absolutely fantastic job. It was his vision and he wanted to do that this year, that was his idea and to be honest it's just amazing to see the journey that they've come on since we started work on it a few months ago. When I started working on this project um, I was immediately drawn to Othello as a source text. It deals with on several levels the idea of discrimination and the idea of exclusion and they are issues very close to our heart. What appeals to us so much is Cotton Shed to choose that story particularly is because Othello is about being different and Cotton Shed can really relate to that because people come here because they feel welcomed, they feel like part of a community and group and I think we've all experienced in some part of our life and we might have felt like we were different so it's, it's a great way to, that we can all relate to the performance really well. But he is safe and will be shortly here. James. We are passionate about our inclusive ethos, but to really understand how you can be inclusive, you have to understand the nature of exclusion. Um, and that is an issue that is dealt with in depth in Othello. Um, and so I was drawn to the way that, that Shakespeare dealt with these ideas in Othello and to ways that we could maybe incorporate our own experiences through the framework of Shakespeare's original text. Hey, 
sensitive part of the show where we have to explain like what it's like to be laughed at and because he's a wheelchair user it's really touching to hear his side of the story but I get to be there to experience that with him when he's explaining that and at the beginning of the show we're the partner at the beginning as well where we do a lot of movement scenes and it's nice to share an experience with someone who is a wheelchair user like that. I will back home. Because this project is so important and it's such a milestone it's uh, such an ambitious show for us in so many ways we wanted to meet it with a really classic text something that uh, would stand up and say we are ready for Shakespeare we're ready to be serious players in British theatre she must die she betrayed more men We are all here. We are all alive. We have much to celebrate. Beware of jealousy. It is a green eyed monster. It does mock the flesh that it feeds on. Unburdened. 